So I was at my friend's birthday the other day. And by the way, we'll go ahead and not waste any of your time. I was at his uh, birthday party, right? Uh, and it was a high school friend, um, guy that really and truly we've been best friends since fourth grade. Okay, so over 15 years, whatever, most of my life, he has been in my life. We got together with some other friends from high school. And we were all talking about, you know, how things were in high school. I'm now, I've graduated college, uh, 23 years old. He was turning 24. Um, and, you know, just kind of getting together. We have jobs now. We're doing our own thing. Um, but we started talking about the past, right? And the times that we spent together and the things that we did and how the past, when you look back on it, it genuinely, like, feels good, right? Like, you look back and realize that you had such a good life, right? The friends that you had, the people that you were around, the things that you got to experience. And you realize like, man, those were the good old days. Back when, you know, we didn't have responsibilities. We didn't have to pay the electric bill. We didn't have to, uh, you know, whatever it may be, right? It was just like bliss. You know, we would go to school We would go to sports and then we would go home, play video games, get on Xbox Live, chat with each other, right? Play Ark Survival Evolved, Minecraft together, whatever we may have been doing. But it was just like no responsibility. See, the stress was not near as abundant as it is today. And we would reminisce over these things and the stories that we made together and the, you know, just all of the fun that you had as a child. And really when you look back at that, those times and those days, they seem like they're all good and well. They seem like those were the good old days. But the reality is when you were in that time, all you were doing was looking forward. All you were doing was looking to your future and how I just can't wait till I'm 20 years old because then I can finally be on my own. I just can't wait until I'm 16 so I can drive. I can't wait till I'm 21 so I can drink, right? You always were looking forward. And for some reason, we never really lived in the present. And I see this from time to time with me as well, where I'm always looking for goals in the future. How am I going to build my future where it's better? When, when I start a family, they have the freedom to do whatever. Like my wife will not be working a nine to five job. All of this sort of stuff is like coming in the future. It's building more and more stress on me and more things and tangible actions that I need to take today. An overwhelmingness of just like, of just pain. And man, those were, like you look back, those were the good old days. The nostalgia that you get when you think of those times when you're just hanging out. Man, didn't have a care in the world. Come home after basketball practice, take a shower, eat some food that my mom cooked for me, and just go hop on Xbox Live. But now I'm starting to realize Living in the past is living a life that's fiction. It's fake. It's our memories. And our memories, what we remember, are typically the things that were good. Because the whole life that you've lived in your past, you don't remember all of those. All the bad things, the little bumps in the roads, the tests that you failed. Like, I can't even think of the things that were bad. But you know that they were there. And so really and truly, I'm figuring out that we need to be present. Live now. Today. It's a gift. Don't look back on the past and reminisce over the things that we did. Like, why not build those memories today? We just sat and talked about our past the whole entire time when we could have been building memories Also, don't look into the future. 
Don't try to build your future, the perfect thing. Obviously, yes, you need to plan and you need to make sure that you're going to have a good future, but don't look into it and, and just overanalyze every little thing because then you're not living now. See, I try to overcome this every day by doing a gratitude journal. What I'm thankful for every day now, like today, what am I thankful for? This allows me to get in the state of mind where I'm present. I'm present, feeling gratitude, feeling humbled, blessed with the things that I was given now, today. And so I urge you to not live in your past. Don't put your mind or thought in the future. Because the thing is, energy goes where attention flows. So put your attention and your energy into now, into this time. And ultimately, you will see that your present today will be so much better. You will be so happier, so much more fulfilled in your daily actions, when you're present, you're not being rushed around thinking you got to get here for that. No, no, just live for now. I'm going to be working on it as well in my life. And so if you're 16, 20 years old and you're constantly in a rush and you're constantly going around, quit looking at your past. Stop focusing on your future and instead live for now. If you guys enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you in the next one.